Uh, hey guys, I'm going to explain how I wrote this program, how to rename PDF files uh, to specific names and also merge them together. So basically my issue was having to rename a report of uh, PDF files with these uh, numbers into the specific name with names inside the PDF files as well as this part here and to merge mul multiple files with the same name together. So basically each PDF file here has um, basically looks like this with an account number associated with the name and uh, the name so and also there was an excel sheet here with each name as well as this number that appears here so let me show you where's l here we go l so this one l this number here is right here as you can see so basically this is a way to connect the name to something that's always the same inside the PDF file itself. All right, so if taking a look at the code, there is um, a lot of ways we can do this. So let's see. So basically, uh, the code here, basically what you want to do first is to create a uh, directory for your this uh, folder for this project. So I made one for PDF files to store these PDF files, so let's... Uh, So these are all the PDF files here. What I can do is um, I'm just going to copy all these PDF files into this folder here so uh, we can do stuff to it. Um, yes. Um, I'll, I'll run the code at the end, but I'll just explain briefly how everything works. Actually, I'll, I'll just uh, run it first to demonstrate how it works. So, oops. I'll just, uh, uh, I'll just hit run here to demonstrate how it works. So I'll just hit run and explain it after real quick. So yeah, as, as you can see here, it's renaming all the files and, uh, once everything is complete, uh, it will merge. It, it already merged the files together, but it will remove the files that were merged at the end here. Let's see, it should not take that much longer here. So it finished in about less than one minute. And as you can see here, before I had about 400 PDF files. Now um, they're all renamed appropriately. And the files with the same name are merged together into one PDF file. So that's the basically how it works. Okay, so, so basically inside the code, you want to make this directory where you store the PDF files you are wanting to work with into here. 
and then um and then um use this import this um change the directory to to this um to this one and then uh create this glob uh import this glob library i'm not really sure what it does exactly but i think it it makes it so it it only um looks at the pdf files inside the folder so anything with a pdf extension after that um i look at the excel file i have with the appropriate information to find out the names and the count number so i just read this exact uh pdf i mean excel file i open it here and then i access the sheet this exact sheet here uh, this sheet and then after that create these two lists and then inside this list i am i'm basically putting this the excel information here into a list for python to access its data basically um, yeah, and here I'm just renaming this here, this column here, all these count numbers, just to only the numbers, the 10 digits here, excluding this hyphen and words here. After that, this part of the code here is basically looking, it is, um, where is it? It is um looking. Oh wait, let me just make make it more clear. It's basically looking at each of these PDF PDF files. It looks through each PDF file. It opens it and it it extracts the text from the PDF file. So if you were to, if you, if I did this right here to print just the PDF, it would print a list of all the, all the PDFs in this folder. And if I print text, it would, the output would be the text in here, all this text here. So it would be all this text it, it can find in here. And then what next is, since the text is sort of spit out here, what you can do here is just to only take a part of the text where the relevant information is. So for example, uh, the account number here is, um, is, um, Account number here is um is here is um at line five right since it's at line five I want to split the text at this line um it'd probably be easier if I demonstrated but uh let me see yeah, it's fine it, like here it, it would just up output each each line and each line of uh, text would just be something in this PDF file. So you would just find which line of the PDF file, um, what you're looking for uh, at which line. And then you would just, you can print out each line to find out which one it is. So for the count number, it's five. And then since in the line of, in the count number line, there's a bunch of other stuff so you just want to truncate it to whatever want whatever you want so i truncated it by uh eight eight characters so and then i did the same for the date here so i found out where the line for the 
date is that I wanted in the PDF file. And also I truncated the date and then I just needed the month and the, and the year. So I, I truncated those two. After that, um, what you want to do is put this into sort of like another list. So you just, um, have a list of all the correct account names from the PDF. Uh, next here you want to um, check in this list that you made of account names. You want to check it with this Excel. Basically, well, well, technically this is already a list in Python, but you're basically checking these, this, this same list of account numbers to check if they're the same, basically. So the way I'm checking it here, I, I just made another list and then just checking if, if, the, if the length of the list is the same, if the length of the list in the Excel is, 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 um, is, is actually length of the list, uh, Hmm. I kind of forgot what I was doing here, but basically I'm basically just checking if the list is the same, the, the, the account number in the PDF uh, list is the same as the Excel list. And if it is the same, it, um, it checks this column, the, the column of the property of the property names on on the left so it checks if if the PDF in the text account number is the same as this one and if it is the same then it takes it adds uh, this this thing right next to it in, into a list so yeah basically I made a list of the of the property name in this way after that um, after that I'm basically just renaming the PDF file here into this name this property name here plus this thing statement and plus plus the month and year from the PDF file so this and this is from, well, this is from the PDF file and this is also from the PDF, but I, uh, I, I renamed it. I, I took it from the Excel here. Okay. So, um, basically I would just, th this would just rename it, but the issue is, um, there are multiple multiple files with the same name. So, so like in here, um, there's just some files that have, um, the same, uh, name, uh, s same account number. Wait, no. Yeah. Same account number. No, not, not, not the same account number, but the same name. So, so these, the ones with the same name, you have to, we have to make it some way so that it's not duplicated because if I don't include this, it'll, it'll try to rename into the same name and it'll, it'll just get an error. So which, what I try to do is if it's the same name, I mean, if, if there is an error, then rename it to something else and then try to try it again. Um, I couldn't figure out a way to do this more uh, better, but this is just the way I did it because some files have the same, basically the same property, but multiple account, different accounts for that property. So you can put as many as you want. Um, 
so I did it for about 10 of them. So if there's more, if you have PDF files with, with the same name, you just put more, basically. And, uh, and uh, here, so after, after this, after this part of the code is executed, you're basically left with um, all the PDF files renamed to the correct name. But there are basically multiple files with the same name, but they're differentiated by an by this parentheses and number, basically. They're, they're not the same file, but they, they have the, the same name. They just need to be combined together. So what you're left with is that. So, so what we need to do is find a way to sort of group the files together and then um, merge the PDF files together and delete all the extra files that were used to merge together. So in that way, you need to create another um, so here, we're just looking through the PDF files again. And then um, here, we're just looking at the name itself. Um, just the name itself without this extra part. And then, and then here we want to group the PDF files with the same name. So let me just, it would be easier to demonstrate it again. So I'm going to run it again, but it's going to take a minute to finish. So you see, see, this is what I'm talking about. There's this together then we want to get this. So what this is doing is creating a group for, for these files. And then, um, well, it's a group, but you're basically making a dictionary. And then with the key being, um, this name without the parentheses here. So here, what we're doing is just merging each group of the dictionary together, just this group together. So this turns into this, it merges together. And after that, um, just to, it deletes um, each each PDF with the parentheses together with the parentheses, which, which is all the duplicate files I made before and it just removes it. And after that you are left with, um, just all these files and yeah, that's about it. it takes about less than a minute to, to finish. Um, yeah. And then the, basically the only difference is, um, um, this, this kind of requires what's in here. So if there's like duplicate files or files, yeah, basically just duplicate files. Or if there's like accounts that are not inside this list, you would just add a new number in that are in these PDF files and add a new name that you want to change. So it's kind of a little bit dynamic that you can just add this into here. And then if there's anything new, new in these PDF file reports, then you can, then the program will still function. And then if there's like duplicate files, you just need to delete them because it'll cause a problem um, in the code. Okay. That's about it. Thanks.